Hey everyone, it's Lisa from the blog farmhouseonboon.com and today I'm finally gonna give you a full tour of our chicken coop. So I did a video about us getting chickens probably two months ago and told you we were building a coop. Well, we have been building that coop ever since then and I'm finally gonna give you a tour of it. So what we have here is an A-frame chicken tractor. Now we used the mobile chicken tractor build plans from Green Willow Homestead. I found them on greenwillowhomestead.com. The maker of it, uh, Kelsey, actually reached out to me and wanted to let me know that if any of you decide to build it, that she and her fiance, who actually helped to design the plan, would be happy to answer any questions along the way, especially if you're a new builder. And also you can grab all the specs on the website. I'll have the link for all of that below. It can house, I believe she said, up to 20 full grown hens. So the reason we didn't just buy something is because we wanted something that we could move around our property so that the chickens could get fresh grass each day, but we wanted something really large because we have five kids and we can easily go through six or seven dozen eggs a week. So we needed a lot of birds. I didn't just want five like we had at our last house because we have a lot more acreage now and so we can have quite a few more. And we feel like since we do, we might as well get as much eggs as possible. I found myself constantly still buying eggs. I've never had enough chickens to completely supply our needs. And so I'm really hoping to do that. We have 12 chickens that will probably start laying at the end of this summer. I want to bring in several uh, fully grown hens as well that I'm just gonna buy somewhere. So that way we can start getting some eggs right away, but we won't probably until next spring. Uh, be getting enough eggs to supply our needs, but we're starting. Our barn is full of old doors, old screen doors, just lumber, I mean, all kinds of treasures. So for the front door of the chicken coop, we used the screen from one of the old screen doors and the hinges. It also has a back door that is access for a ramp in the back that leads up to the nesting boxes. So there are four really good size nesting boxes in this coop plan. And then there's also a pretty large living area for at nighttime where you basically lift up the ladder that leads up to nesting boxes and secure that at night. And then the rest of the little living area that's under the tin in this plan is covered with wire. So at night they're more secure. And then during the day they have access to the ground underneath the chicken tractor. So the whole goal of this thing is that each day you'll move it around. We have seven acres. A lot of it we can't use because there's a hill, but there is plenty of acreage to give these birds fresh grass and bugs every day. We even did that at our last house. We just couldn't have as many because we only had a quarter acre and they tear up the grass each and every day. And so we had to move it constantly. We only had so much yard to work with here. They will definitely be able to get fresh grass every single day. We'll just move it around so they never have a chance to completely tear everything up. It also has wheels on the back. This just makes it easier to move. Now the plan called for some caster wheels up front as well. We were going to put those on. Luke put those under there and kind of looked at how they were gonna hit on the ground. And we felt like it would only just create a larger gap between the ground and the bottom of the coop, which could allow for predators to go underneath. So he found that he could actually pull it quite easily with some ropes in the front and the wheels just on the back. And so we didn't end up adding the six inch caster wheels up front. Now this is very large. I don't know how the scale looks on camera. I know that whenever I was looking at the plan online, I was shocked at how big it actually was. We started building this in our garage, but then we had to move it to the barn because we realized really quickly that we weren't going to even be able to get it out of the garage if we continue to build it in there. Our barn has very large, barn doors obviously that we knew we could remove it from but make sure to, if you do build this plan to do your measurements first because uh, yeah you don't want to get your coop that you built stuck. I love this coop this is exactly what we wanted we wanted a really nice chicken tractor that held a ton of chickens we would have preferred just to have bought something to be completely honest with you but we couldn't find that everything at the store just wasn't going to suit our needs we're so glad to have it done first homestead project checked off the list now if you are like luke and i 
new to homesteading, wanting to learn everything you can to embark on this journey of, you know, growing your own food sustainably, all that kind of good stuff. There is a homesteaders conference called Homesteaders of America that ever since I heard about it, I wanted to go do it even before we had property. And, um, you know, and just it's in a different part of the country and it's just too hard to travel. But they just launched this online thing where you can access all of these courses and worksheets and ebooks and videos. It's just a huge online library. It's like going to the conference, but it's all online and you can access it. And so you can have all of these materials and a community of homesteaders to connect with online. I'm being super last minute about telling you guys about this because they're having a special price on the membership through, I believe tomorrow, Sunday. And so I wanted to get this out really quickly and tell you all about it so that if you are wanting to have a community of homesteaders, because this is all very new to a lot of people, the desire is there, the work ethics there, but it's kind of like where to start. It's a really great resource that I'm excited to dig into and be a part of. So I will leave a link in the description below for you to check that out. If you check it out before Sunday, it'll be a lot cheaper. After that, it'll still be available, so you know you can still check this out if you didn't see this video in time. But um, if you do see it before, then definitely go see the prices right now because they are a lot cheaper and there's access to tons of great resources. All right, well, if you are wanting to get started with chickens, you still can. I know a lot of times at farmer's markets, they sell chickens that are older that they've been raising, so you can kind of skip the whole raising the chicken step. There is also usually chick days at farm stores like Tractor Supply and others um, in the fall, so you can get started on building a coop. Maybe you ought to consider building your coop um, before getting the chickens. Just saying, it might be a smarter idea than what we did because we were totally under the clock, happy the way everything turned out, and we are so excited to finally check this first homesteading milestone off the list. We've got our backyard chickens. All right, well, if you're brand new to my channel and you wanna follow along with us turning our seven acres that we just bought back in January and our old Victorian farmhouse into our dream homestead, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I also make two new videos every week on food from scratch, natural living in a handmade home. Thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse. Mm -hmm.